What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We back here with some more DA games. It's time we're checking out the Poppy Playtime song, Slave to the Factory Line, okay? We got a lyric video. Now, Poppy Playtime, I'm not familiar with it. I did pull up this Wikipedia right here, and it looks like it's a survivor horror video game in which the player plays a former employee who is revisiting an abandoned toy factory previously owned by the game's in-universe company, Playtime Co., Ten years after the staff have seemingly vanished without a trace, the player navigates to a first-person perspective and must solve puzzles, some requiring a gadget named the Grab Pack in order to progress further while avoiding various enemies. You know, I've been seeing a lot of songs for these survival horror video games, right? It seems to be very, very popular. I'm too chicken to play any of them. I feel like it will make great content for you seeing me scared out of my mind. Maybe I'll even do some reactions to like maybe some gameplay because even that sometimes I can't handle. Um, but anyways, uh, we got a little context. So let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. <clears throat> the production on DA Games is always top notch. <laughs> interesting right the uh the, the vocal effect and combined with kind of the whimsical laffy laffy taffy uh backtrack right to kind of give you that sense of wondrous toys and whatnot but at the same time there's a demonic presence going on <laughs> okay <laughs> Sure. We got caught red handed, no surprise, no face but fall with motions, rainbows of pure emotions, makes fun and sure, but I'm sure you're familiar with gay crash bodies full of crap top bobbies and a violent decor. Your street but sands are take to go, makes you some hot day in the fight. Okay, okay, hold on. Before they, before you go forward, okay. So I'm kind. Of, I see. I think I'm kind of getting kind of like the uh, structure of this song, right? Almost kind of saying that we're giving a introduction as to you know where you are, what type of people that we, and what type of what type of animals we are, and everything. And then you know it's loosely you know around the game. So I don't think there's like really really much here to dissect. Like like I don't think there's any type of undertone i mean i do see that the song up there is called slave to a factory line and everything but i'm not sensing any undertone it looks like for the most part it's about the actual video game which i haven't played so i know some of this stuff's going over my head I guess if you see some type of undertone, it would kind of be, you know, those who probably do work at the factory or not even just a factory. Oh, yo, that's a that's a cursed image right there. Look at that. His eyes are blurred. <laughs> um, I guess, you know, if there was an undertone to this, it would be slaving at work and everything, especially when he says toys, all different sizes and everything. I look at that as no matter what kind of job that you're working, all is the same, your demise, right? You're always going to be a slave to your nine to five unless you break out of it. If there's an undertone, that's the only thing I can grab right now. Was a 
Ooh. It's kind of like you you can't you say you thought you was going to leave, but but the dread, you know, pretty much canceled all of that. You know, what I mean, um, but you afraid of possibly being lonely or leaving somebody else lonely. Interesting. That's interesting. Don't blame us as you don't want to tap alone in the dark. So we might have the issues, but it's you that's all alone. Loosen our brains left to rot, left to be the failures. <laughs> That's creepy. Nice. Such a bounce. Creepiness. Yeah, I like this percussion right here. Kind of give you the sense of a uh, hurriness, you know what I mean? And then I'm guessing during that survivor, you're running in all types of objects and stuff while you're fearing for your life. So I like that little representation right there. Okay, DA guys, man, they really got their own style out here. There ain't nobody out here that sounds like them. And that's a very, very hard thing to do. It's just so very musically inclined. It's very you know most some of the stuff is like it's either like like it ranges from all kinds of different things it could be nice and whimsical or it could be very very serious and epic you know and they have a good strong command over which direction that they want to go right if you're hearing something by da games and it makes you feel a certain way it's supposed to do that ain't nothing by accident here right no they're those are signs of people who are really really uh, masters of their craft like right? really professionals which you know you guys already know that but that's one of the reasons why they are so that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.